happy Saturday, right? Yeah. We are in Casey's room. Say hi. <laughs> so we are in Casey's room because she stole the February warmer. Just like I said she would. Right away. And it is nestled back in her bookcase and it would be a nightmare to take out so i figured i would show you in here so here is the warmer of the month February. it is called twine to unwind um it is hand woven i was thinking it's just, yeah hand woven twine so this is all actually twine and it goes down and around so it's no i can't really show on the inside because it's here but it's actually it's not just one-sided it is two-sided it goes around and then each of the middle beams are woven like around that way there's a glass insert so the dish, the glass insert, and then the warmer. Like I said, it is all actual twine. It's, it is very neat. It's not necessarily my vibe. Dude, I got your smells like Matthew Gray Goobler candle scent right next to you. Um, it is not necessarily my vibe, but it's very, very, very much Casey's Bohemian vibe. And she did it very cute as making it a bookend. So it just kind of shows you. And she has her diffuser right here and a warmer over there. So she's got two warmers and a diffuser in her room alone. But it is, it's not super tall. Let's see. It's about a little bit smaller than my hand. If that tells you anything. Um, it is a four cubed dish. So that is the warmer for February. It's really pretty. Can you turn it off, Case? Mm -hmm. Can you turn it off real quick? Hold on, she's turning it off. So that's what it looks like when it's off. Like I said, each one of these are hand spun around it, I guess you would say, wrapped around it. And then each of the cords, the twine, it's down and then up and down and then up, down and then up. So it makes it continuous. See, it's not tied off up here. But that... It's all the way around. I don't know if I can spin it around either. Hold on. And then we'll go downstairs and do the scent. But you can see it's the same all the way around. And you got that black base. You want to turn it back on, Case? And now you have Tyler knocking on the door. But yeah, this right here. Because the wax is, is actually, see, it's a glass insert <laughs> she's told the warmer so i have to go live in here the glass insert so that your twine doesn't get too hot that's the whole point of the glass insert is so that the bulb isn't directly heating it's actually going to heat the glass up before it heats your twine up so you don't have to worry about that oh my gosh this is the most wackadoodle live ever and then you've got the pretty black base so that my friends, is the warmer of the month for February. It is called a Twine to Unwind, and it's going to be 54 on the 1st. Right, I'm going back downstairs now, and we're going to go downstairs. Thanks, Case. And we'll talk about the scent. It definitely is not my vibe, um, but it fits her totally, 100%. Like... I knew she was going to steal it. I told you all she was going to steal it. And she straight stole it. Um, I barely had it opened. Like, I hadn't even looked at it yet. I started to look at it. 
like I had it and I was like, oh, I really think you're going to like that warmer. And she was like, well, what is it? And I showed her a picture and she's like, well, open it. And I was like, okay. And then she took it. Okay. So very bohemian, very, um, it's very popular too, because wicker baskets, um, twine baskets, um, rattan, mm -hmm. rattan, however you say it, very, very popular right now. Matter of fact, there are several other direct sales companies that have those twine woven baskets. I see them at Target in the dollar spot and back in the home decor spot. It's super on trend. It's, it is very well done the way that it is woven and everything. It is actually done very, very well. Um, again, not my vibe, but beautifully crafted. And I love that, that it's hand woven. She put it on her bookcase, put the cord behind her bookcase. It's put into a smart plug. It was just impossible for me to pull out. So going live in her room was as best as we could get. <laughs> but you could also see a different way to use um, a warmer because she used hers as her bookend. She has a record player over here, then she had her books, and then she had it as a bookend over here. And it actually looks really cute. I, can't, I hate it when I say that because she's my kid and she does really, really good at decorating. But it was it's very cute. Very cute. And then as you saw, warmer here. She has her diffuser over here. She usually uses her diffuser on the weekends. That warmer goes all the time. And her salt lamp warmer, which was over here, that one goes all the time. Her bulb is just out. So her room is a smaller room, but she has tons, tons of warmers. And I can tell you her room always smells amazing. For being a 15 year old, it smells so good coming from her room. You can smell it coming up. That, like as soon as you walk in our front door, the steps to go up are right there. And you can 100% smell her room as soon as you walk in the door. Her room is amazing. Amazing, amazing smelling. So the scent is called Pink Coconut. It is, I don't know, sweet raspberry, pink clay, creamy coconut, Tahitian vanilla. So, let me pull up my laptop. Like, I can see people, but for some reason, Facebook doesn't show comments too, too, too much anymore. So, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, I've already used a whole bar of this. I will say it's on the lighter end of things. I shouldn't have turned that light on, but, you know, whatever. Life happens. We've been running all day long. We went shopping and had, like, a girl's day and things like that. So, we just got home from having dinner with Jeremy and grocery shopping. I put the groceries away, and then I was like, let's do this. All right. Remember the February one will come out February 1st. If you need it, let me know. I do feel it is going to be very, 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 very popular. Um, and I'm not, I never just say that never ever but it is so on trend this month this year that I really think because it's very very plant vibes and that's so big everybody has tons and tons of plants you know plant moms things like that it's very plant vibes it's very earth it's very trendy it's just I really do feel it's going to be a very hot 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 warmer all right this scent is lighter than I expected it Somebody said it smells very much like a resort on Marco Island, Florida. Never been to the resort, but that's what somebody had said. We did an incentive trip there one year. Um, I didn't take it. I earned it, but I didn't take it. I went to Austin, Texas instead. And um, they said it smells very much like the resort that they went to on Marco Island. So it is coconutty and raspberry but on the lighter end like a creamier end it's not big bold coconut or big bold raspberry i don't smell vanilla i do smell like a raspberry coconut that's what i smell i put it in my kitchen warmer my kitchen is a big big room um i was able to smell it a little bit not a lot but i did then turn around and use it in my bathroom and it was amazing in my bathroom it really was so to me this is more of a smaller room but again, everybody's different. Remember that everybody is different in how they smell things um, and what they like and what is big and bold. Just because what something I think is on a lighter end doesn't necessarily mean it will be on a lighter end for you. So always remember that. Um, sometimes we're the same and sometimes we're not. If you've watched 
enough of my lives and then like bought stuff that I said was light and you felt, then you can start to vibe and be like, yeah, 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 they, we are similar, but it just depends. Um, it's good. It is a good, it's a very nice transition into the spring scent because it's not, it's not a huge and big and bold and smack you in the face type of scent. It's just a nice, a nice creamy bring you into the scents. It does. Courtney, you're never going to, I have your bars in my back seat and I was, went to deliver them today and I totally missed the exit. I was driving along, driving along, and I totally missed your exit. Like, that's how that went today. So, they're sitting in the back seat, my back seat right now, but I have them. I just missed my exit. And as you know, once you miss that exit, you're kind of screwed. Like, then you're far, far away. <laughs> so, there you go. Tis my life. But, yeah, it is a good scent. Again, I feel it's on the lighter end, but if you like lighter scents, not big, bold, tropical, not big, bold, bold coconut, not big, bold raspberry, just a very nice creamy blend, not bakery either, but again, really good. I've already used a whole entire bar of it. I liked it better in my bathroom. It wasn't too foodie smelling that I didn't, that I hated it in my bathroom, but it's almost a little too foodie for my bedroom if that makes any sense whatsoever I don't like food in my bedroom just because it it makes me dream of food <laughs> it makes me dream of food so I try not to do food scents in my be bedroom um but this one was I, the perfect bathroom like an almost like a spa tropical spa type of feel so yeah again the warmer it's in Casey's room there's the picture of it again if you hopping on once we're done watch the replay for back from the beginning it actually is a very pretty warmer very well crafted i will say i personally think um the craftsmanship on it craftsmanship on it is beautiful to take the time to weave that twine over and over and over in the spacing and then to wrap each one of the things it's beautiful it really is um and straight on trend 100 straight on trend so um if you need on my list i will be getting up on the first at 3 a.m because the new catalog as a consultant i actually have i have the new catalog as a consultant i have the full entire new catalog but next month through february we'll start talking about all of the things leaving the discontinued list and things like that but as a consultant i get to purchase the new catalogs the new testers the new bars the new things on the first so i will be up and at them very early on the first of february so that i can buy all of the new catalogs for you guys and the testers and the bars and stuff so i can send samples and all of you box people you guys know what that means that means march's box is going to be all new catalog stuff so that's always so exciting um hosts will get a sample of all of the new scents in their host boxes in march and april so that's another thing along with new products so it's always exciting new catalog season is always really exciting we are getting rid of a lot if you're watching this you're going to get the first information we are actually getting a lot rid of quite a few products um but and i will explain it again in a post when we hit to it but we're not getting rid of them for good. We're getting rid of them and then turning them into special collections. So for instance, dish soap is leaving, meaning you can't purchase it in the catalog. You can't just call me or message me and be like, hey, Amber, I need a bottle of dish soap. You have to wait for it to be in a special collection and a special scent. Um, the first one is going to be Daydream Oasis. And that one is going to be coming out on February 13th, I think. I think I saw that February 13th, but it'll be one of those things where dish soap's not gone for good. It's just only going to be in a special collection. Um, there is a total of, I gotta look, one, two, three, four, five, six, count them, six full products leaving that will not be in the new catalog. So, but again, not good for good. They're going to be leaving and turning into an, um, what we call an LTO, meaning a special collection. They're going to be turning into one of those. And um, then all the scents leaving. We don't have a lot of warmers leaving, but we do. The product lines are really big that are, are leaving. More info. You will get more info. I will tell you. Don't worry. You know, we will go through it starting February 1st. I will start diving into all of the, um, the scents leaving and we will dive into all of those 
things. I will never leave you hanging. Don't worry. Um, but I seen some of the new catalog. I haven't dove, I haven't dived into the new catalog yet fully because my mind, I have to stay focused on one thing at a time. So right now we are in bring back my bars, get your daggone, bring back my bars in your club. Um, and then from there, then I focus on the discontinued list, you know, and that's when, that's my next mode is focus on the discontinued list, getting all that information out to you guys. Um, and then we'll move into the new catalog. I'm working on your guys's product sheets. If you get one of my monthly mailers, you know that at the end of every season, I will highlight everything on here that is leaving on both sides. Everything will be highlighted. That's what I'm going to work on tomorrow and getting these out to you because we just got the list today. So I'll be working on highlighting everything leaving and I will get it out to you. So you guys will have a list. You guys will have a in your hands list of everything that is leaving along with, we will do posts in here. If you were in my weekly text, that stuff is always recapped. If you're not in my weekly text and you would want to be, what it is is every Saturday I send you guys out a newsletter. And hopefully if you guys are on my text and newsletter list, you guys clicked on the link of the new newsletter. I love it. It's beautiful. It looks good. I hope that you were able to click through the little slideshow on it. I was, I was super dorky because I was so proud that I made that. Um, but if you get the newsletter in it, I tell you guys, I kind of recap the week because I understand that Facebook is sometimes not the most reliable source of news and information and it, it picks and chooses once what it wants to show you. Your lives get busy and you may not be on it nearly as much as I am. So that is the whole point of the weekly newsletter. I send it to you via text and um, it's got all of the information and it. it tells you kind of a recap of what we did. And sometimes the newsletter actually gives you sneak peeks of things coming. There are times that the newsletter gets information before the VIP group gets information. And sometimes VIP gets more, gets info before the te text. So it all just depends. But if you are not on that text newsletter list and you want to be, please reach out to me and I will get you on it. It's not hard. It's not expensive. I promise you, I don't spam you. Um, I sent you when there's the, like the flash sale, I will send you a text real fast. Yo, Here's the deal. Flash sales coming this day. Again, it's just to kind of help Facebook out. Um, I send you the weekly newsletter text. If there is a product leaving that I know that you love, because I do, I run reports and I'm like, okay, she absolutely loves sugar scrub and sugar scrub is leaving the catalog. It's not going to be in the catalog anymore. I'm going to reach out to you. I'm going to reach out to you and be like, Hey, I know you love sugar scrub. Here's the deal. And I'm going to personally let you know, because I don't want to rely just on um, Facebook, just be, uh, rely on just them getting you that information. So if I have your info via text, I'm going to pinpoint that information. I never do it to be spammy. I never do it to be annoying. I never do it to be um, like wanting a sale. It's literally just to keep you guys informed because I hear it all the time. I didn't know that. And it's gone. Why well, didn't see that? Because it's gone. Um, you know, because... I can't control what Facebook shows you, but I can control a text newsletter that comes to you. I can control that and I can send it to you so that you guys can see it. So that's the whole point behind it. Never to just, I don't want you to ever think that that's the reason I'm doing it because it truly is not. It is to keep you guys informed because I hate, I hate finding out a company is doing a sale on something that I absolutely love and it's too late and I missed it. I hate finding out that something that I loved is going away and nobody told me or or she's like i posted it on facebook i can't help it if facebook doesn't tell me like that's you know that's uh it's not my fault so i try to do i try my hardest to make sure i let you guys know i run the reports and i personally reach out to you and text is the easiest way to reach out to you because we all have our phone in our hands so please don't ever think that i'm reaching out to you to be pushy or getting a sale or anything like that because it truly is not um i send i have a vip customer thing every month five customers at random i literally have a thing and i pull names out of a hat five customers every month they get a special they get three options vip options but it's only via text um every month five people get randomly picked for special hosting incentives again i can't i can't do it any other way <laughs> so if you are not in my texting list please reach out to me and i will get you in my texting list um so yeah there you go there was another one did you catch that courtney did you catch the other one that's leaving <laughs> um here we go i'll tell you 
I'll tell you, you'll be ahead if you don't watch if you don't watch the live, you're missing it. Car bar clips. I am so sad. And a matter of fact, I put car bars on there, but it's actually car bar clips. Car bar clips are leaving, and I am not ashamed to say I think I bought 20 of them. I am not ashamed to say it because I absolutely love car bar clips. Car bar clips are leaving. They will not be in the catalog, but they're supposed to be coming back as an LTO product. Scent soft with our laundry. Same thing. The whole entire pet line. Sugar scrub. Scent soak. And fragrance mist. Those products will be leaving. They are not going to be available in the catalog, but they are supposed to be coming back as an LTO item as um, a special collection item so like I think I'm guessing sugar scrub fragrance mist and scent soak will be coming in Mother's Day that's a guess that's just my guess um, I think sugar scrub may come back in the summer like a sandal type of vibe you know getting ready for sandals maybe car bars dish soap I didn't put dish soap on there dish soap's leaving too on! I jacked up my stickers <laughs> Dish soap is leaving too at the end of the month, at the end of February. But again, coming back as an LTO item, we already know a couple times that it will be coming back. Um, I love the dish soap. If you guys got the My Monthly box this month, the dish soap was in it and I didn't even know. Like, I had no idea it was leaving before I did my boxes. I love our dish soap. It lasts forever and ever, amen. You only need a blip of it. Like, I have no shame saying I will probably buy five bottles in February. I have no shame saying that. So I'm stocking up on car bar clips and I'm stocking up for sure on dish soap. Those are my two things. And if you guys think I'm joking, I'll show you. I'll show you my car bar clip drawer. I love them. I'm going to have to learn to like the mini fan in there. A lot of people do, but I don't. Look, those are my personal stash of car bar clips. I'm not lying. Cider mill clothesline black raspberry vanilla yeah fragrance mist was in the box too and i had no idea right how crazy is that um some old ones mahalo coconut is in there mystery man is in here amazon rain so yeah that's my personal stash of car bar clips i'm so sad yeah i did i had no idea fragrance mist was in there and um and the dish soap. It was not planned because I actually plan my boxes ahead of time. So like right now, tomorrow, I will be planning my box for February. Like I already know the theme and everything, obviously, but I had to wait and see what was leaving and what's coming so I can organize things accordingly. And um, I had no idea. I had dish soap planned and um, the fragrance mist planned at the end of January. I mean, at the end of December, I knew that those were going in January's box. And then I found out on mid-January that they were leaving. And I thought, well, what the heck? So, it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny, but crazy. So, yeah. So, there you go. Car bar clips, scent soft, pet line, sugar scrub, scent soak, fragrance mist, and dish soap will all be gone at the end of February. So, stock up um, now. Stock up in February because they should be 20% off anything that is leaving discontinuing being meaning it's gone for good will be 20% off but it is while supplies last so I have a very funny feeling that Scentsy Soak will go like that I really do because so many people really do like it and consultants really like it um because it's a really good deal I feel like that's going to sell out the first like it's going to be not on the first but it's going to be gone very very quickly and once an item that is being discontinued is sold out we will not be bringing it back because there's no point so if there's something on that list that um you love please let me know and we'll we'll get you hooked up i am sad so car yes car bar clips and sugar scrub stock up on them in february because they should be 20 percent off because they're a discontinued item but like i said they're not they're not gone for good okay so like christmas cottage you know that christmas cottage is going to leave at the end of february and it's going to be gone until at least september 1st if not forever and ever right this is not going to be gone forever and ever and ever they will release it in special collections, special scents at special times. You know how like we did um, Squeeze the Day 
um, once in a special collection and we did the perfect peppermint cleaning bundle remember we did things like that and that's how these items will be brought back not gone forever and ever just only brought back at special times it'll it's just a bummer because you can't purchase them in the catalog so um yes stock up on your cardboard clips i will be doing more of those I'm just bummed because I really wanted more Mahalo coconut, but I can't get that. So cider mill. I like cider mill and car bar clips. I really like black raspberry vanilla, clothesline, um, mystery man. I don't like vanilla bean buttercream in the car bar clip. It was too light. Um, I don't really like Luna in car bar clips because I think it's too light. And I'm not a weathered leather fan, so I don't do that one. Um so yeah, stock up on them. Sugar scrub. Sugar scrub's so good. Um, are they going to be in the box? I don't know yet. I honestly have no idea. I have to sit down and look. That's my plan. Tomorrow is a home day. Tomorrow is highlight day and figure out my boxes. That's, that's my plan. I have an idea, but we're going to see. Um, so yeah, it's a sad day. I love dish soap. I love dish soap. I love my car bar clips. I'm sad. I'm really sad. I need to put my mini fan in there. I need to find it. I need to put it in there. I just hate because mine moves around and I don't want to give up a cup holder. It's plain and simple. I just don't want to give my cup holder. Um, and then if I stick it in my like little flat part, it slides a little. I don't like that it slides. So I need to play around with it. Many, many, many people love the mini fan in their car. Many people love it. Um, I just really like my car bar clips. <laughs> I just really like my car bar clips. So maybe 20 will get me, you know, 20 is almost two years. Like, I feel like I'm okay, right? I know. I've thought about doing that. I've thought about Velcro. I don't know. I'm just spoiled. And I don't like change. That's what it is. I don't like change. And, and, and. The only thing I do know for a fact is flipping pineapple pucker did not come back in the new catalog. I am so beyond furious with that. I did not put it in my club because I was like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be back. That's the only sin I know for a fact did not come back. I'm so furious. So flipping furious. Hmm. I'm so mad. Like I haven't, I haven't dove into the catalog. I've seen bits and pieces here and there, certain things. Cause we've been gone all day with case and, and I'm like, just here and there. I've been looking here and there. That scent did not come back and I'm, mm, I'm mad and I didn't club it. So learn from my mistakes. Don't forget to club scents you love. Cause I don't know if there's another pineapple one in there. Thankfully I have pineapple mint in my club. So that, that helps, but still. That's all I know. That's all I know for a fact. Pineapple pucker did not come back and I should revolt and write my congressman. So there you go. You guys got a sneak peek of what's coming next month. And if you need this, if you need the warmer, let me know. Um, go back. I don't know. I know what's in the Mother's Day collection. I know what's in the Easter collection and I know what's in the um, summer collection. I know it's in the next three collections. It is not. So, but maybe there's a really good pineapple scent. I just haven't smelled it yet. I don't know. I'm just going to just, <sighs> just don't put it this way. I'm going to be putting Christmas cottage in my club at the end of February because Christmas cottage is my favorite fall scent. It will be going in there. It always comes back, but so did pineapple pucker. Learn from my mistakes and club your daggone scents. Club your daggone scents so you're not furious like I am. All right. Um, when we stop this, go back and rewatch so you can see the warmer because I can't show it to you because it's in Casey's room up there. So have a good rest of your evening. I am going to go change my clothes. I'm going to get my pajamas. I've been wearing jeans all day. Look at that. Jeans. I have a bra on. I'm over it. I'm over it. I've been gone since 1130. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to get my pajamas. I'm going to wash my face and... I'm probably just going to relax and then I will work all day tomorrow. I'm excited.
So have a good rest of your evening. If you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. If you're on my monthly mailer list, you will be, my goal is to have them out on Monday. If you need on my text list, please ask. Just shoot me a message, comment below, get me on your text list, and I will get you on there. It is honestly the best way to stay up to date with all of the things since I try to only send one text a week. But if something is exciting happening, I will send you another one. If, you know, I need to get a hold of you, I will. Um, but, and it's me texting. Don't ever think it's a robot. It's actually me. Okie dokie. Have a good evening.